When is the right time to close a cash secure put option that you sold is a very common question I get asked as you can see here. And this question reminds me of that cartoon that I loved as a kid of the Roadrunner and the Coyote. The Coyote was always trying to get the Roadrunner. Ultimately, as you can see here, he'd eventually resort to TNT. He'd light the fuse, wait for the perfect timing or what he thought was the perfect timing and get blown up. Using this example, the fuse on that stick of dynamite is kind of like the days until expiration on the option that we've sold. If we've pocketed most of the premium and we still have quite a few days left until expiration, we don't want the fuse on the dynamite stick or the cash care put option we sold to burn down when there's pretty much no time value or profit left in the position and in the end get blown up and possibly blow our account up. On the other hand, Coyote wouldn't want to sniff the dynamite fuse out too early because the dynamite didn't blow up fast enough. He has to give the fuse time to burn down before the dynamite blows up. The same is true with options. We don't want to close our positions too early and not give them enough time to run or time to be profitable trades for us. But as we mentioned, you don't want to wait too long either because that dynamite or that put option you sold just might blow up in your face. So how do we get the timing just right? In this video, I'm going to share with you four reasons or four ways to exit an option position. This will help you see when is the optimal time to close out a cash secure put option that you sold. And after that, I'm going to show you how to close a cash secure put option that you sold early. The first reason to close out an option position early is actually one of my two favorites. And that is you close a position out once you've hit a certain percentage profit. For me, that percentage is 10%. When a position I've sold that I could close out early would enable me to pocket 90% of my profit, I go ahead and look to close that position out. Or in other words, when there's only 10% left of potential profit in a cash secure put option that I've sold, then I close it out. And here you see a list of my existing open orders as of this moment. Notice that a lot of these are buying to close positions that we previously sold, and the limit price you see right in here in this column is 10% of what we were initially paid up front for selling that cash secure put option. For example, right now we're about nine days out from the July expiration. So if we can close this position out for seven cents per share, we're very happy to close this out early and put that capital to work in a new position or just take that risk off the table and look for a new position in the coming nine days. On the other hand, you see some positions that expire in August. For example, here with ACN and Costco. These are put options we sold that expire over a month from now. But as soon as the price hits this 44 cents per share in the case of Costco or 25 cents per share in the case of ACN, I want to close this position out because that means we'll have made 90% of our potential profit. If we can get out of there sooner than waiting until August 18th or over a month from now, I'm very happy to do that. You might look at it kind of like this example. Let's say that you have a job that you're typically expected to work 40 hours a week and you have enough work that will keep you busy for 40 hours a week, but somehow you get that work done in just 10 hours and your boss doesn't require you to stay the whole 40 hours if you get your work done. You still get paid for that same 40 hours no matter how long it takes you to get the work done. Let's say by Tuesday afternoon, you finished your work for the whole week. Would you keep going to the office the rest of the week just because you're kind of expected to work 40 hours? Well, no, if your work is done and no one's requiring you to be there, you'd leave early. That's what we're doing here. We're leaving this position early. And we get the same pay as if we had stayed almost the whole time. In fact, here you see two positions we closed out yesterday. We had pocketed pretty much all the premium and we were able to get out of these trades 10 days early. Another scenario in which you might want to close a cash secure put option position early is when the underlying stock has reached some resistance. And you believe the stock might turn on and come back down, which could be bad for the cash secure put option that you sold. And here you see a stock chart of MDT, which is the position we trade in regularly. We had sold a cash secure put option right about in this area here. The stock had had a nice advance and appeared to be topping out. So right here we see the yellow arrow on June 20th I decided to close this cash secure put option early and we were able to do that almost for max profit. It only cost us 17 cents per share to close that option out. And notice that just a few days before that on the 12th we've been paid 85 cents per share to enter this position. But I decided to go ahead and close it out early because we had pocketed a lot of the potential profit and it appeared that MDT had reached an area that was going to serve as resistance for it and therefore was most likely to come back down which as you see here in the chart, that's exactly what it did. So for underlying stock that you sold some cash that you could put options in has had a nice advance and appears to be hitting against some resistance, you might consider closing that position out early if you've been able to pocket a good bit of the profit. Now, another reason why you might exit a cash secure put option position early is if the trade has gone against you, you have no desire to try and fix or repair the position. Here you see the stock chart of MKC, and we sold some cash secure put options right about in here because it looked like MKC was finding support around this $86.5 area. 
and seemed to have the habit of finding support just above this red 200 moving average. Well, a couple of days later, it broke through that support. Now, it does appear it's trying to find support around this red 200 moving average on this daily chart, but if you didn't want to deal with repairing the position, then you might consider exiting that position once it broke through that support, which had been right around here about $86.40 per share, only when it broke through this red 200 moving average. Now, there are many tools that we use to repair positions that have gone against us, so I did not exit this position. However, if you didn't feel comfortable repairing positions that had gone against you, then you might consider exiting a cash share put option that hasn't turned out the way you hoped that it would. And that might mean you exit it for a loss, but if you preferred exiting for a loss over trying to repair it, and that might be another reason why you exit a cash secure put option position early. One way to look at it, if that's how you felt about it and didn't want to do any option repair strategies, would be that this red line here might be when your fuse is down to zero and your dynamite's gonna blow up. Now you would set that rule when you enter this position back up in here. So you knew that if MKC declined to this red to a moving average or below it, you would exit the position so your dynamite didn't blow up in your face or so your trade didn't blow up too bad in your face. The fourth way to exit position is just to wait until expiration. And I kind of compare that to our little friend here who's been gnawing on his bone. You kind of like the idea of getting all the meat off the bone. If exiting a position early is not that important to you and you'd rather pocket all the premium from the cash care put option you sold, then you might just wait until expiration to let it expire worthless. Or if you're comfortable and the position goes against you, to turn it into a covered call. And that's kind of what our dog friend does here. He makes sure he gets all that meat off that bone. You just want to understand that unlike our friend here where there's no real punishment for gnawing all the meat off the bone, in your case, if the position were to go against you all of a sudden due to some unexpected news, then all that profit that you would have potentially made by closing out early might disappear if the position goes against you in a big way. Or going back to our Roadrunner and Coyote example, it might put you in a position where you had a profitable trade, but it ends up blowing up in your face. If you'd like to learn how to become a better option trader and trade options like we do, then you might consider checking out the course I've made that has some intermediate ideas and concepts that'll help you to be more profitable on a consistent basis. The link to that course is down in the description below. So now how exactly do you exit a cash care put option position early? Here you see a cash secure put option position we're in right now in AVB. We previously had sold the AVB July 21st $165 cash secure put option and received $2.84 per share for that put option. Well now that put option is pretty much worthless because AVB is trading for around $193 per share. So the way to close this put option out early on interactive brokers will be to go to the option we want to close out early, right click on it, and just click buy. You see you're doing the complete opposite of what you did when you entered the position, which was to sell this option. Or if you wanna see it on a different brokerage, Here's my E-Trade portfolio. I don't have any cash or put options in this portfolio, but if say, for example, we wanted to close out this covered call position in Realty Income, we simply go to the option, click the down arrow, and hit close. Now we see the E-Trade takes us to the screen, we place how much we want to close this position for. So we simply go in here and select limit, the price we want to pay or buy to close the option for. In this case, let's just say we want to pay five cents per share for closing this option out. So we either choose good for the day or good for 60 days. We preview order, and if everything looks good, then we hit place order. Knowing when to close a cash or put option position you've sold early is a very important part of being a successful long-term option trader. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we buy stock or sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down to the link in the description below. If you're newer to option trading, check out the video series at the link above in which I share all the basic concepts that you need to learn to become a successful option trader. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.